Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd and welcome to Fallout New Vegas Art of Chaos, because you may recall a few months back, I played the Fallout New Vegas Randomizer, a truly delightful mod that shuffles around all the creatures, all the loadouts in the game, basically making New Vegas delightfully bananas. And that got me to thinking, are there more mods out there that could randomize the game even further, how far can we take this? In theory, can you just turn the entire Mojave into a chaotic nightmare? And basically what I've discovered is, yes. Yes, you can. So, if you don't know what the core randomizer mod does, you're about to figure it out. Because just like the base game, we've just been rescued by Doc Mitchell. But it's not the Doc Mitchell you might know. Uh, you may notice he's not quite wearing the usual gear. You may also notice he's, um, he's a bit on the small side on this occasion. Yeah, NPC size, that gets randomised these days too. So, um, yes indeed, every single creature and character loadout in the entire wasteland has been changed. So, armour, weapons, and what creature is where, all completely shuffled. In terms of character, there is a randomised option, but honestly it's a bit on the um, uncreative side, so I'll just be stopping here. There we go, slightly evil eyebrows, that'll do as a starting point. And in terms of her hair and whatnot, sadly, there is no option to actually, you know, do anything to randomise that. So I'm just going to use the incredibly sophisticated mechanism of closing my eyes and then just going up and down a bit until I decide to stop somewhere. So how about about that? Okay, that looks terrible, magnificent, just spot on. Okay, and we'll just do the same thing for colour as well. So just pick a starting colour at random. There may be a little bit of that, little bit of this, take away some of that, and... Okay, slightly vibrant yellow, but nothing too offensive, that'll do. And then face your hair, same basic principle, so just up and down and up and down some more until... Whatever this is, and... Oh, magnificent, it's dreadful. And now I just have to be helped out of bed by tiny, tiny Doc Mitchell. Oh my goodness, he's adorable. Just putting myself in third person next to a tiny Doc Mitchell there. Oh, that's wonderful right there. Now, you're probably wondering what character build I'm going for in a world where I can't possibly know what I'm going up against. Well, so am I. Because the next mod I've installed randomizes your character build. When I interact with this machine, it's just going to spit out a result. Just one thing first though, just to add to the general sense of chaos, I don't know whether this is a uh, bug or intended by the mod creator. But I only found one mod that let the uh, Vigor Tester machine spit out a random character. And that mod doesn't spit out legitimate characters. This mod assigns 50 special points, not 40. So, the character is going to be a character that can't possibly exist, which, well, certainly chaotic, also means I'm much stronger than a character should be at level 1, so don't worry, we can fix that, but for the time being, let's at least get a hint as to what my strongest stat's going to be. Good to see them bullets didn't affect your charm none. No! Well, that's charisma! That's the- oh, bloody hell. Okay, next up, Doc Mitchell's personality test, and- uh, as you may be aware, if you've played this game before, if you just hammer through it, you'll always get the All same right. result because it's literally a personality yeah. test. So, if you just go for the top option, I believe you would always get melee, speech, and survival. But, would you believe right. the random mod also randomizes this? So, yeah, if we just go through this and, oh my goodness. Tiny Doug Mitchell is so tiny, the drawings don't fit on the screen anymore. I love it. And... Energy weapons, explosives, and melee weapons. So, a trio of weapon tags, which is not ideal, but what can you do, eh? Right, so we'll just be accepting that, because in all fairness, it's probably not a bad idea to have a, a good weapon spread, because uh, there's going to be many random weapons out in the wasteland too. And for traits, of course, there's only one that makes any sense. Right down at the bottom... Wild Wasteland. New items, new events, and I believe many of them will have never been on the channel before because I don't think I've ever turned this trait on during a run. So brand new stuff. Magnificent. And that just means now we get to see what my starting loadout is because Tiny Dog Mitchell is going to give me a random weapon and a random piece of armor. Together, of course, with a Pip-Boy so I can actually see what my terrible, terrible build is. 
Okay. Um, fascinating. Though, yes, I'm guessing if we just... Yes, indeed, if we just add that up, that adds up to 50, not 40. So... The game has said you are going to be the most agile, charismatic bastard who ever lived. And I'm willing to honour that. So how about we leave those at 10. Everything else we lower by 2. That should get us to a legitimate character. There we go. Mod AV console fans and we're back to where we're supposed to be. Well, I've definitely never built this character before. No. Meaning my new and de-improved skills are now as follows. So okay, we're just going to have to... Uh, to deal with it. So, over to the loadout, and I've got a Protonic in Versalax. So that's from uh, Old World Blues. Obviously, all the DLC stuff is going to get mixed up with the base game. So, that there, good versus robots and power armor, which might well be more useful than I'm expecting, because robots and power armor might just bloody show up, but I'm not going to be able to repair that. So, okay, not terrible, and I'm wearing... The armor of the 87 tribes. So, okay, that's... That's the special reward armor that comes at the end of... Yes, uh, Lonesome Road. If you nuke the Legion, then go to the nuked Legion base and kill the named guy there. So that's one of the most elite pieces of armor in the entire game. But also, slight issue. It's in poor condition and I'm not going to be able to actually... Um, you know, repair it. So that's not going to last long. Okay, piece of randomness number three. The randomizer mod also randomizes the contents of containers. So uh, this box probably shouldn't contain office employee ID or a tanned gecko hide. And uh, a sunset sarsaparilla crate, well, you might reasonably expect sunset sarsaparilla, but no, actually. So magazine and uh, ultra jet. There's just, there's just going to be stuff. Stuff is going to be a bit on the, um, the weird side. And we're only just getting going. Because as we just, uh, step outside into Good Springs, you may notice in the distance there, there appears to be a, um, a Cazador doing the rounds. Don't worry, that Cazador's probably not actually a problem. Because in this mod, nothing is as it seems. So they normally raise big corners in this bit of the world. They don't anymore. Instead... Yes, indeed. They've now got uh, some new stuff. They have got one at giant green gecko, one at large wild dog, and one at iBot. That is now what they raise here. But creatures maintain their original allegiance, if you will. So the big corners are neutral until such time as you attack them, then they attack you back. So if I would start a fight, then they would be hostile, and at that point, the giant gecko has the stats of a giant gecko. So, yeah, this this changes things a fair bit. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, look, there's Victor over there. No, I'm guessing not because one, it's not Victor. That's yes, man. But two, that's not yes, man. It's a big corner who's been assigned yes, man. Victor is actually probably that Cazador we saw shuffling away in the distance right at the start. So I don't know where he is right now. So no trouble whatsoever. And is that a... That's a Deathclaw right at the edge of town. So don't pick a fight with um the big corners. Because if I do, one of them is now a Deathclaw. This, of course, badly changes the arithmetic of a whole bunch of fights. So say the school at the edge of town. That's got a whole bunch of baby mantises inside it. They're neutral to each other, but always hostile to you. In the base game, not an issue, because they're baby mantises. But in this mode, yes, all of a sudden, they could be anything. But fortunately, that's not a problem, because piece of randomness number... Four? Are we up to four? I can't remember. Um, the school isn't located in the school. You see, fortunately for me, just a couple of weeks back, a brand new mod came out. Fallout New Vegas randomized world, meaning every single door in the game has now been shuffled. So this door does not lead to the school. Instead, it leads to the high road. Right, so that leads into Lonesome Road. So as a level one character with no guns, I don't want to go into Lonesome Road right now. Probably a bad call. So let's find a door I'm not terrified of stepping through. 
Here we go. This will do. Victor's shack leads to not Victor's shack, but instead some other bit of the Mojave Wasteland. I don't know where. That could be a lot of different doors, but we'll give it a go. Because the doors are two-way. So now I'm... Uh-oh. I'm near Bitter Springs. And also, yep, you know what? I'm sufficiently far away from, uh, yes, my starting location. The game wants to check I'm happy with my character. To be honest, no, but I'm going to accept it anyway. So I'm now around the back of uh, Bitter Springs. The cave back here. I don't want to be here because there's creatures. And, uh, yeah, just enter that door. And that's a... Want the supply caves? I don't know, but yes, okay, that door now goes there, and it always will do. These doors are now locked in their new positions. So, if I ever need to get to Bitter Springs, I now know how to get there. I can get there from Good Springs, and when I say I know that, um, as every door is randomised, there's a lot of stuff you need to remember all of a sudden. Okay, think about it this way. In Fallout New Vegas, you don't make much in the way of experience from just murder. You get most of your experience instead from doing little missions. Now, missions, however, are complicated. Just think about literally the first mission in the game, Back in the Saddle. Okay, to do that, you've got to speak to Sunny Smiles. Sunny Smiles is inside the Prospector Saloon, which is right here. Unfortunately, the Prospector Saloon is no longer inside the Prospector Saloon. So, yeah, um, I can't do the starting missions. And this completely changes everything because, uh, okay, if you're one step ahead of the game, you might have already realized that now the game is basically about locating certain key rooms because you need certain rooms in order to complete the game. For example, you cannot complete Act 1 of Fallout New Vegas until you've tracked down Benny. Now, to do that, I need to find a door to the tops in order to move the game forward into its second act. Now, that's not as bad as it sounds, for the simple reason that, uh, yes, to my advantage, the tops fortunately has uh, many doors that lead into it, from the restaurant or the theatre, a back door from the swimming pool, and a whole bunch of doors, because, yeah, there's a kind of a spread of doors leading in the front. So that means there are doors to the tops all over the place. There's like 10 or something. So there's got to be one somewhere. Okay, but even if I find one, I need to be confident I can take out Benny. Now, you're probably thinking, John, of course you can take out Benny. What are you talking about? You already have a speech of 23, all you need is 45, and you can pass the three checks with Swank, get Benny isolated, job done. Um, no actually. So, every single skill check in the game, thanks to yet another mod, is now randomised. Swank might need speech 100 in order to be convinced of Benny's betrayal. Okay, meanwhile, Linnaeus might only need speech of 20 to back down. Trudy might want sneak 100 to back the rest of the town in Ghost Town Gunfight. Yes, life's going to get weird. And that means the hard-coded solutions are the ones we want. Here we go. Benny's distinctive cigarettes. We'll be uh, taking them and just one final one as well. You might be wondering, hang on, John. Where's the snow globe? Yeah, just for fun, they've been randomised too. So they could be literally bloody anywhere. So here we go. We got another door leading to the Mojave Wasteland at the back of the saloon. So, all right. May as well just uh, crack that open, see what's going on. And... Right. No, 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 no. That's... Okay, so... Where I am right now is I've just come out... Of the Lonesome Road entry door. So, doors are kind of supposed to be two-way pairs. But possibly entrance to DLC doors works differently. I'm just going to walk the Lonesome Road. And I might end up in Lonesome Road. Or I might end up back in Good Springs. I honestly don't know anymore. Okay. I'm now, wait. Poison removed. Quest out of the silo. So the game now thinks I've started... Lonesome Road, which I haven't. Fortunately, they didn't follow me through the door because, yes, it's not just you that can use doors. Good start. Good start right there. Front door. That's the NCR Embassy. That's... Oh. That's an important one because now I can find my way to, uh, yes, the Ambassador. Though, 
at this point in the game, is he actually here? Bloody hell, there's a giant man with a hammer. He is here, but until I've done something like entering the Lucky 38, he's not going to care too much about uh, too much about me. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just have a little bit of a look-see. That's, uh, that's a good shotgun. John, do not cause trouble with the NCR when you're level 1. Still, that there is a good thing to know. Chet still goes to Nipton General Store. So, okay, there's been a bit of a, um, a shop exchange. So, uh, that's an empty abandoned store, unfortunately. Sooner or later, one of these doors is going to be useful. There's a lab coat. Very intelligent, good spring settler. Right there. Then we've got McCarran Terminal, which sounds good, but isn't as good as you'd think it might be for the simple reason that, uh, yes, obviously the door upstairs doesn't lead to the monorail. It leads uh, somewhere else. Still not... Not terrible. Not terrible at all. There might be some missions I could pick up in there, but whether I'm ready to do any of them, I don't know. Okay, Ringo's garage, meanwhile, is a basement that needs a key, which is probably the basement of Repcon Test Site, if I had to guess. And uh, yes, vending machines now just uh, have a, a whole bunch of uh, different stuff, so... Uh, I mean, Nuka-Cola in a Sunset Sarsaparilla machine, downright weird, uh, together with, uh, yes, all sorts of uh, old bits and pieces. Uh, okay, there's got to be something I can bloody use uh, somewhere in this town. Okay, there's a door to Big Mountain, right opposite, uh, yes, the start of the game. That's not really going to be that helpful yet, I will just die there. Then a Hopesville Missile Silo, nope. Definitely not. Elsewhere in the Mojave Wastelands. Coming out of Easy Pete's house. Yeah, give it a go. And this is going to bring me to... Okay. Now this, this will do as a starting point. Because what you want is teleportation to rooms that have more doors. That give you more options. And that's precisely what I've got. Okay, the Ultralux bathhouse is located inside a Crimson Caravan. And uh, then we've got ourselves Deputy Beagle's Residence. That's the useless one, isn't it? Yes, it's the Sheriff's Residence that's actually got some, uh, some good stuff. This one, not so much, unfortunately. He's got, like, nothing good. Maybe. I mean, it's a gun case. It might be a better gun case. Now it's been randomised. And... Uh, you know what? I'll take a flipping 9mm. It's it's a gun. I've now got a gun. That's a really important first step. Okay, the far door leads to Camp Searchlight, which I definitely don't want to. Then again, actually, do I? Camp Searchlight. Camp Searchlight would mean I was uh, back in the overworld. Uh, yeah, nearby the bridge where I could join up with the traders who walk up the road towards Novak. Now, Novak has got doors aplenty. All right, cross your fingers, because I don't know where I'm going to be precisely. That's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of trouble right there. Okay, kind of the exact far side of this. Okay, if I just keep going this way towards the, towards the airport, I could probably get out of the rads uh, Pretty fast, all things are considered. I mean, caution, not danger. Down to one. The airport is... Is the airport dangerous? I don't know whether the airport's actually dangerous or not. But I appear to have uh, escaped. I've never been into that little trailer park. I don't really know what's in it. But just... Okay, back away. There we go. We're now outside town. Okay, there's, there's something over there. That Brahmin is hostile. I don't know. Wait, am I nearby to the Vertebird crash site right now? I probably... Oh. Okay. So even though that Brahmin's a Brahmin, the Brahmin is now hostile because it's supposed to be hostile. Whatever it was before... Would have also been hostile. Uh-oh. Okay, that's... 
That's an extremely slow moving ghost seeker. So, for some reason, it can't keep up with me. I, mean, I could probably just vaps it, but don't do that. And also, do not go up to the old farm homestead because, yeah, all those creatures, which are hostile because they're supposed to have, like, gone mad because of hunger or something, they're all going to be hostile too. So now we're just going to... Okay, this is, this is all going to work out. Okay, my dumb plan can, in theory, work. All I need to find is somebody who can give me a mission. Right? That's all we need. Or someone who can protect me. And the NCR, they can. Okay, they're not very well, um, set up, to be honest. Like, many of them are wearing dresses. Okay, check the gun cases. 10mm submachine gun, fine. Tiny bit of money, won't say no. And check the, uh, yeah, med kits. Two, while well, I'm nice and hidden. A doggy treat! That's nice, but not actually a stim pack, which is what I wanted. Uh, okay. Now! Now Asta seems more interested in me. So, I like your glasses, by the way. Those are really nice. Okay, step one. Asta begins, we'll all go together. So, he wants the ghouls locally to die. And he's also given me some rad supplies, which is pretty useful. But unfortunately, yeah, taking out these ghouls is almost certainly beyond me for the time being. So, okay, bare minimum, I've got a fast travel point. Let's actually just get myself to, yes, brand new day, I can't use any of your beds. Fine, I guess I'll just stand here really awkwardly while you sleep. Because what I want more than anything in the world is NPCs to attack each other. Because then I can loot the bodies. Because right now I've got nothing. And uh, that's why I came here. Alright. The fight between the Legion and the NCR traders. Uh, that's going to lead to one side being wiped out. The other side probably being badly damaged. And both sides are not going to be hostile to me. And I think this road should be nice and empty. I'm just going to... Yes, join to... Uh-oh. Okay, um, so, 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 um, I feel like, I feel like I'm about to, okay, so, you know, I just said, I'm, he was bloody fast, I'm not hearing any trouble, and I don't know how randomized every time I, like, you know, wait or revisit an area the game's going to be. So just... Okay. That this time is... I'm not seeing a death claw. So this time I think something else might have spawned in. Or you hit the death claw with... Hang about that. No, that's a protectron. Okay. So one of them's got... Oh, bloody hell. One of them's got an explosive. One of these guys has got... A flare gun that scares off abominations. One of them's got like a displacer glove or something. Honestly, I am okay with just following these guys around. One of them's a skeleton. Okay. They are... Aha! They're wandering NCR troopers. Gotcha. Then we've got ourselves... Uh, you're wearing... That's one of the prostitute outfits. You're wearing... Yes, NCR with a veil from Joanna's mission. That's a stealth boy for no well-explained reason. I would really like to have... No, you've got a knife. You've got a good thing right there. That's like a displacer glove or something. Okay, don't... Don't do it. Just move on over here. That's a bloat fly, but obviously has shotgun ammo for no well-explained reason. Just get to the bridge and spawn the traders. Because they're going to have a whole bunch of random stuff. But the Legion are going to have random stuff too. So I don't know who's going to win, but I also don't care. So, alright, in just a second. There we go. That's you guys, so one of the NCR troops is actually dressed like the Legion, 
Also, they're pack Brahmin. One of them's now a bear, which means I don't know whether he's going to get involved. Though the large wild dog is, I mean, not lying. That is large. Yes, that's one of the special um, old world blues gloves, isn't it? You've got a... Is that a flag gun or is that... Oh, is that that gun? Any moment now we're coming on to... Uh-oh, is that... Am I correctly seeing... Oh, it's the Sexy Legion. So, here comes a bit of fire. There is a flamethrower. There's also... What was that? Okay, plasma grenade or something. And, okay, the bear cub isn't getting involved, even though could do, because Brahmin... And, okay, I'm just going to push this person to help him along. Come on, buddy. You can do it. There you go. So, somebody has got, like, a... I don't know... Plasma grenade launcher or something. But, I mean, I'll give you. You absolutely bloody annihilated them. Well done. So, right. Now I can have some sexy outfits right here. Really nice revolver. That's good. Though, admittedly, not much ammo for it. So, uh, yeah. Bit tricky. Another legionary right here. Double plasma grenades. That'll be what that was. Meanwhile, that is... Uh, about riot shotgun. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I do have enough weight capacity for a bunch of stuff. Bladed Gauntlet is actually pretty good. Okay, you just... You annihilated them. Well done. I mean, you were wearing power armor, so fair enough. And riot gear on the bright follower. Well, the run's off to a good start. Love it. So, I've got 12 dragon breath in a riot shotgun, which is pretty useful because damage over time, that's going to significantly help with taking out tough single enemies who are melee lads. And we've also got, hang on, hang on, hang on, we've, we've got, we've got trouble. We've got, we've got really giant scorpions, but you just completely annihilated them. Hang on, what have you even got? Uh-oh, what was, what was that? Well, somebody's firing. Okay, there's a robot up there. Is it a robot? No, there's... Wait. Is that a... That's a late look that appears to be spitting lasers. Does does anyone know why the late look is able to spit lasers? Okay, it's running. For some reason, it's running and I'm going to set it on fire. There we go. Now it's taking a bit of fire damage. And now it being a... Uh, John. Hollow point, hollow point, hollow point, hollow point, hollow point. Don't let it shoot you. And it's behind a bush. In just a second, boom. Okay, now that, that was just stealing my kill. I swear you were spitting lasers. I mean, he's on with microfusion cells, so... Whatever's going on, okay, just... I was about to say this is all a bit weird. Yes, that was the point. All right, so... Trader number one has detected the presence of, uh... Yeah, nasty people back here. And has got a really good weapon, but... Oh, blimey. Okay, hang on, what? What effect is that? That's not just a- Oh, blimey, hack! Okay, it's- it's fine. Somebody's- It's not fine. I don't really know what's causing these people to explode, but something is causing these people to explode. Like, a lot- A lot of them, yes! I- as I was just saying, that's- Fletchets, Medex, one, one teddy bear. Thank you for passing the corpse over here. It's much appreciated, Viper Gunslinger. C4 explosives, which I can't detonate, but sure, I can sell them. Those are really valuable. Okay, who survived versus didn't? 308, tiny bit of... Ooh, Dr. Mobius of Scrubs. Okay, giant pile of science, useful for science checks, together with... Uh, I tell you what, that's night vision. That... Might be. Okay, we're not done yet. Maybe, maybe, maybe just wait and hide. There's somebody up there who's got... Are you dead, by the way? Okay, well... I think somebody's got, like, a grenade launcher. I think I might want to... Okay, loot this guy. Because this guy has got... Wait, what? No, it was a 556 pistol. GRA, it wasn't that gun. They just look the same. Bloody hell. Right, I'm having a tuxedo hat. That sounds awesome. But I'm also staying the flip back because... I don't really know what's going on up there. But corpses just keep being bloody flung around. And 
Okay, there's a yes. It's you, isn't it? You have got the no. No, I I'm going to help. I'm going to... I actually helped! And bloody hell, I've done horrible things to your neck. I'm so sorry. Mercenary's dead. That's an assassin suit. la -de da There's terrifying stretched woman. Okay, we have got a good grenade rifle we can use and the Gobi campaign scout rifle, which is really good. That's a solid sniper, though I can't use it reliably. Because if I try, then, um... This is going to happen. Yeah, I'm just going to basically be um, wibbling around. So I can't really use that. But if I had to try and use a sniper rifle, it's the best I've got. How's your bear looking? Okay, if I attack you, your bear shouldn't attack me. Right? That's how this works. So just get behind a rock. and I'm really sorry. But I feel like you've kind of used up your usefulness to me. And boom! Bonus versus power armor. Very nice indeed. Just be uh, having that. Thank you. I am now full up of really good expensive stuff. And that means uh, it's time to go to... There's no shop I can access, is there? No. No, there's not. There's the doctor. The doctor... I could sell to. I don't know how much money she's got, but she, you know, exists. That's pretty exciting. A shop I could actually use. We're also moving towards level two just by finding locations, because yes, I am still level one. And this is... Ruined building. Where the flip am I? Terminal. Oh! I'm in the Sierra Madre! Right! This is probably... Not somewhere I want to be. There's the Forbidden Zone Dome. Right, okay. If I go into that room now, does that actually trigger the end of uh, Old World Blues? John, it doesn't matter. You're not ready for the end of Old World Blues. Just remember it's there. And there we go. I have made it to Novak. And I am so, so damn close to level two. So... Okay, that's the... That's the doctor, right? Just dressed up not as I'm expecting her to be. Okay, light machine gun, get rid of that. Just trade that for medical supplies as much as she's got. Which honestly isn't much. We're just going to have to make do. I say make do. I've sold like one thing. I'm almost at weight capacity and I've got nobody to sell it to. So there's Victor. It's fine. Panic for a second there. But no, it's Victor. We know who Victor is. We saw him at the start and... Morningstar Cavern. Great. Just, just great. Nice thing about Novak, we got ourselves a lot of doors. So uh, that's a greenhouse. That's Sloan, but I'm not supposed to go through it. That's Vault 21. Might be a shop. I mean, Sarah's... Right, Robo Warfare Division. That's Old World Blues. Uh, Hoover Dam officers, uh, Mojave Wasteland somewhere, and Good Springs home. There's, there's no home in Good Springs you can get a key for. Where the flip is? Okay, I don't know what that is. As for Mojave Wasteland, uh, I mean, this has gone wrong before. And no, it's gone wrong again, it's gone wrong again, it's gone wrong again. And it might keep going wrong potentially, because, well... I just discovered something, so that's nice. Okay, I'm having speech up to 30, because uh, speech as a check comes up more often than every other check. And then on top of that, we've got, yeah, move lockpick towards uh, 25. Then we have got strong back intense training. Wait, that's not supposed to. Oh! Okay, didn't know this was going to happen, but as it turns out, um... The perks have been randomized too. Okay, I'll take weapon handling so I can use more weapons because I'm going to be using one hell of a selection of weapons. Right, well, that's one bit of randomness I didn't even know was coming. But apparently, yes, that's, um, that's also a thing. So, okay. Right now, I'm in Novak. And that means, in theory, power substation. Well, 22 food production, definitely not. And I can't get 
to the Narrows. I can't get to the Narrows, I can't get to the Dinosaur. Now, the problem that we've got here is... Okay, Victor is freaking me the hell out. Problem is... Well, hang on. John. There will come a point when Manny and Boone swap places. And it's almost the end of the day right now. At that point, I might be able to catch Manny as he walks... Wait. Can Manny get down from the dinosaur? Because it's not just me. Everybody has to obey the rules of the actual new doors. So when Manny tries to go home, he has to go through the door behind him. The door behind him doesn't lead to the dinosaur. Okay, so let's just go into towards night here. Right. Just, just another. Yeah. And now Manny hopefully at some point, is going to decide I don't want to be here anymore and Boone's going to decide what the flip is. Okay. So, that's the dog, Ray, but it's Mr. House's open thing, but the dog, Ray's not supposed to be here either. Ray's supposed to be down the road at Old Lady Gibsons. So, why is... Seriously, Victor is freaking me out. Why is Ray here? I'm not 100% sure why Ray's... Hang on, hang on, who's that? Who's that up there? Oh, it's an NCR trooper! What's an NCR trooper doing here? There's not supposed to be... Oh! Right, what's happening right now is doors. Doors are happening. There are no NCR troopers in this town, but there are NCR troopers in the Hoover Dam officers. It just became night, so characters are now attempting to get to where they sleep. But in some cases, they can't get to where they sleep. That's just Ray the dog now, apparently. Okay, so Manny has gone home, or tried to. Though, to be precise, what Manny's done is gone into whatever door is inside the dinosaur's mouth. And he has not appeared down here. Because he can't. There's no way for him to path back to Novak. Though, somewhere in the world, he might currently be trying to do so. Boone, meanwhile, can't get to the dinosaur's mouth. Because any attempt made by him would be... Oh, except Boone lives in his room. Because I arrived in town during the day. So, Boone was in his room. But his room doesn't lead out to here. So, okay. Manny is somewhere through that mystery door. And Boone is somewhere beyond... This mystery door. And I don't know where either of them are. Okay, multiple doors that need keys. I don't know what those are going to be. But one that might take me home a little bit. There's a door here to Prem. Now, Prem is probably guarded by them two lads that are normally there. The two uh, raiders outside, if I'm going outside. So, uh, time to do a proper little fight. Alright, through we go. I don't know which door it's going to be, but... Alright, see you over there. Gobi Rifle. That guy is badly protected. If he just holds still for a second, then I could probably... Oh, bloody hell. And go! Missed. Missed again. Missed some more. Okay, so we just, we just missed, like, constantly, but it's fine. He's got a melee weapon. Got him that time, but it wasn't a sneak attack, so it barely even matters. Okay, so this is uh, not great. Okay, he is now around, but he's not doing so hot. I feel like basic... Yeah, 10mm ought to do the job with him. He's barely armoured at all. Actually, he's got the... Okay, he's somewhat armoured. That's the end of Lonesome Road armour. So maybe something a bit, bit tougher for, uh, for him, actually. And... I don't want to waste the good ammo, but I guess we may as well. Screw you. And... But oh, he's got a really strong weapon. Okay, but now he's dead, so it's fine. Where's his friend? I don't know. And also... Did he just grow? Because I think he did. Um, Courier Duster. Extra weight. Also extra endurance. I won't say no. Decent enough gauntlet. What have you got, buddy? Right, you're tiny and you've got... Aha! I see. You've got one of the old world blues weapons. Okay. I'm just going to hide around the back here. 
and I'm just going to blast them. And in just a sec. Boom! Oh, yeah. That'll flip and do the job. That's some damage over time for you. Crippled the arms, and if we're lucky, dead. Also, their next stretch a lot. I think that might be a function of the growing and shrinking. Right, I'll just be uh, having that off you. Screw you. Fresh apple keeps the doctors away. So I've been inside this building. Is this the first instance of me actually knowing, one, where a building is both externally and internally? Because it might be, you know, there's Nellis. Okay, that's Hoover Dam intake number four. Bison Steve, probably not the, uh, the Bison Steve, actually. Instead, New Vegas home. Well, I've no clue what this is. Possibly just an abandoned house on the edge of uh, New Vegas. I don't even know which uh, which this would be. I've just um found Canyon Runner, which is interesting. That would suggest this would be Cottonwood Cove, right? Yes, Cottonwood Cove headquarters. So, as territories get stitched together, people will genuinely try and navigate. Yes, um, important characters might end up fighting. Because characters who aren't supposed to meet might just end up meeting anyway. In fact, I'm going to be honest. Canyon Runner is... He's kind of heading straight at the um the NCR outpost oh, right now. Okay, I'll tell you what, buddy. I'm going to save you from the landmines. Because I'm nice like that. And just go. And number three. Because now I'm just... I'm just curious what's about to happen because an important Legion person is now walking straight towards an NCR checkpoint. So presumably they're going to fight, right? I mean, also, you are looking... Oh, yeah. You're looking badass and ready to go, mate. And here we go. Here we go. Except... Show yourself and I'm well, this is just an embarrassing fight for... Oh, blimey. Okay, he's got, he's got something good going on and he is going to absolutely murder them. As it turns out. Okay, I did not realise uh, you had a, a really damn good glove. Good block, sir. I'm staying out of this one, alright? Not my business. And you've punched his face off. Degenerate. I mean, well done. That was impressive. Canyon Run is now just going to basically cut through all the NCR troops. Unless, of course, the guy at the front door is better armed. And who's going to detect who first? Oh, he knows. He knows he's opening fire. Okay, Canyon Runner is taking some serious damage right here. But he might be able to just punch the gun straight out of this guy's hands. So he's going in. He's going in and... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Canyon Runner is dead. So, presumably, that means... I mean, I didn't do it. But the game's also not saying we failed any particular quest. Well, actually, then again... I've got the key, and I've got a zap glove, which, honestly, I'm swimming in stuff that's good against robots. That is not a problem. Okay, I've had a think, and I've realized I need two things, okay? Thing number one, I need a plan. And thing number two, I need to start thinking about the game entirely in terms of how many doors exist between me and where I want to go. And I've put those two things together and come up with a plan that involves no doors. Step one, just past Prim, there's the NCR outpost. And if I just go along the road, it's pretty easy to get there. There's only a handful of guys between me and that if I stick on the road. And yeah, the two groups of enemies should annihilate each other. Okay, um, not what I was expecting, but just to confirm... Yes, the late lurks do not just have to use uh, sonic attacks anymore. They can now have uh, different attacks, like plasma or laser or whatever. So, right. Fascinating. I don't know what happened to the jackals, uh, who are usually in this area, but they've just decided to not be here. Probably they're dead, for reasons I'm not 100% sure about. No, he's right there. He just decided against attacking the convex. Don't know why, but no trouble make no trouble because now I'm past you. Oh yeah, life is good. Ignore the giant rad scorpion. It's not as giant as it looks, or rather it is, but it doesn't mean anything. There you go. Road nice and clear. And one trader right here. Got a bit lucky there. This guy's not always here. Okay, he's got ammo for the riot shotgun. He has got 
Pulse grenade, not bad. And I tell you what, buddy, I bet we can afford a plasma defender if I just trade out some stuff I don't need. In particular, opera singer, sonic emitter, no trouble. Okay, step one, we've made it to the outpost. And yes, indeed, there are two missions here. I can collect and turn in, no trouble. And both of them just need me to go to Nipton. But John, I hear you cry. How are you going to get to Nipton? That ambush, they could be armed with anything. And the lake bed, it's got bloody tunnels in it. Yeah, so that's the thing about getting to Nipton. I need to start thinking about how the world fits together. Because the easiest way to get to Nipton is going to be from the other direction. Because that's where I've already been. You see, right here. You can just see it from right here. Okay, there might be a steep slope, but in New Vegas, who the hell cares about a steep slope? This is going to be by far the easier approach than trying to cross the bloody lake bed of death. Here we are. Easiest thing in the world. Trickier going the other way, uphill. But downhill, no. Simple as anything. And now we just say hello to our good friend, the Legion. Oh, and check you out. Is that outcast armor with a fire helmet? You are looking good, mate. Although, interestingly, he's going to try and make it back to Cottonwood Cove. But apparently the um, the way to do it is to go through this door here that leads to... Oh, well, that's going to be an interesting uh, showdown. Right, so now we're here and yes, indeed. Okay, I might want to just... I might want to back off for a second because... Uh, the Legion just invaded Camp Golf, and I don't know... Okay, Flags of Alps has been failed, um, because everybody's dead, and I think Volpez and Coulter just killed, like, everybody. It is now leading a one-man assault on this entire area. Okay, Volpez is just having a lovely time shooting his way out of the camp. Nothing good on the corpse as far as I can tell, but okay, John, eyes on the prize here. Eyes on the prize. Number one... You, buddy, I happen to know Nipton's been burnt down. Boom, 150 XP, and that is actually rather a lot in New Vegas. Quests, that's where you get your XP from, damn it. Right, next up, just up to Ranger Ghost to tell her the exact same piece of information. And don't blimey. Ghost, I'm loving the new look. That suits ya. And 100 XP more, shoving me straight over to level 3. All right, lockpick 25, because some doors are locked and I want to get them open. Aside from that, honestly, yeah, take a bit of speech. Okay, there we go. I successfully managed to do missions. I'm going to call that a huge win. But we've also just opened up a whole pile of doors. There's Nipton, loads of doors there. And we just found our way to Camp Golf, which is tent after tent after tent. So, 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 so. I would say, after watching Volpez and Kulta in some power armor I don't even recognize, slaughter pretty much the entirety of Camp Golf with the Sleepy Time gun, yeah, I think you get the point. Welcome to Fallout New Vegas Art of Chaos, which we will be continuing, and uh, I was about to say, this will probably be a short series, but will it? I mean, I don't know. Kind of depends if we actually, you know, are able to find the critical rooms. Where's Mr. House's penthouse? Where's the tops? Where are all those important quest givers that we're going to need to complete the game? So, join me next week, ladies and gentlemen, as I go very literally round the houses trying to find something I can use. Quest givers, weapons, armor, I mean... Aid would be spectacular. I am desperately low on medicine. So literally by the nature of the run, I have no idea what's going to happen next week. So hopefully you join me for whatever that's going to be. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout New Vegas, Utter Chaos. Thank you very much and goodbye. If we just hide the bodies, nobody needs to know about this. Yes! My stupid, stupid plan has worked! It turns out I'm a genius! The giant rat scorpion is not gone! Oh, hang on, there's, there's more yet though, I'm still being very shocked. Guys, where's the NCR? Nobody needs to know.